Hi, everybody. I'm Kat Pengeli, a Community and Engagement Manager for Lean Agile Global 2021. In the lead up to the live virtual conference on 24th and 25th May 2021, um, I will be introducing you to some of the fantastic speakers that we have in our upcoming lineup. Um, today, I'm delighted to introduce you to Ben per uh, Perry, in Integration Delivery Lead at John Lewis Partnership. Welcome, Ben. Delighted to have you here. Hi, Kat. Delighted to be here, too. Awesome. Um, so I prepared five questions for us to discuss today. Uh, the first one being a bit of a fun one. Um, how would you describe yourself in a single tweet? I love doing this one. Um, delivery lead and flow coach based in the UK. More than 20 years in and out of the trenches of IT delivery and on a mission to unearth and share tips on raising efficiency across the whole organisation. I'll never be done learning how to get to done quicker. Oh, I love that. Okay. I, I feel like it ends on a really strong note, you know, learning how to get to done quicker, which obviously is such a big topic amongst many mm. companies, especially <clears throat> in the agile community. Yep. Yeah. I love the learning aspect of it as well. So yeah. there's so much content out there to tune into. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and you know, speaking of content, um, in your opinion, why should people come and join us virtually at Lean Agile Global? Okay, well, I believe it's never been easier to tap into the rich pool of knowledge and experience in the Lean Agile community. And you can tune into the talk of your choice from the home office and challenge yourself, validate your thinking and be inspired with next steps as well. I don't think you'll regret it. Yeah. I like that. I like that. I don't think people will regret it either. Um, especially, you know, it's so easy to connect with this virtual world. You know, you don't have to hop on a plane and fly to the conference. You know, you can still have your PJ bottoms on while you're <laughs> while you're on a call and attending the conference. And I really appreciate the the reach that an online conference can give us. Great additive as well. So even previous years conferences, it all builds up. So it's uh, amazing how it's growing. Yeah, absolutely. Fantastic. Um, well, diversity and inclusion is really important to us. And that's something that's really helped with the um, with the global aspect of the conference. Um, so we at LAG, we want to know what does diversity and inclusivity as at a conference mean to you? Okay. Well, at this conference in particular, diversity means we get to hear from a broader range of perspectives and voices. And in turn, this will reach more attendees and greater value will be taken from the content. I'm excited by the opportunity to resonance, challenge and refinement. And this is an inclusive group as well. I appreciate the chance to speak alongside a number of the seasoned speakers whose early talk, talk recordings inspired me during lockdown just last year. And my experience has always been that the boundaries between different functions, domains, backgrounds, and experience are super fertile and yield great conversations and consideration. So this is kind of epitomizes that kind of feeling. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. Well, yeah, I think, you know, I, I love, first of all, that you were saying that a lot of these speakers have been have kind of been there with you already through through mm. lockdown you've been able to watch them talk and you know learn from them already and now you're going to be you know on the same stage per se um, and what I really love about it is we're trying to incorporate a social aspect as well so I hope this gives you the opportunity to you know chat with them a little bit more and have that um, you know interesting and thought-provoking conversation with them which will be really lovely mm. yeah looking forward to that Good, uh, fantastic. Well, why should people come to your talk then during the Lean Agile Global Conference? Okay, I have an encouraging tale to tell of evolving a flow improvement approach. Now, I, I believe we all have a finite improvement effort and how do we target that wisely? How can we make sense of all the data charts theory? It can really be really overwhelming. So I want to share the bumps in the road and the successes that have spurred me on. So I've, I've had opportunity to work with some wonderful teams who have allowed me to pair with them on flow to probe their data and propose improvement. So from book work wonder practice and now coaching, I feel I've learned what works and we'll test it out with an exercise at, at the end of my talk. And I'm hoping that those leaving my talk will feel emboldened to experiment in their own teams. 
That's awesome. I love, I love the idea of, you know, having a kind of a call to action after you talk, you know, that you want them to leave with all these mind sparks and go and experiment themselves. I absolutely love that. I hope, I hope that people do as well. And I'm sure they will, you know, especially with, with this community, I feel like everyone's a really thought provoking thinker. They love to take ideas from each other and they love to go away and put things into practice themselves. So, so I hope that they do that. <laughs> I just remember myself three years ago. And if I had if I was aware of conferences like this and the material out there, I would have got to where, where I've got to today a lot quicker. Mm. As I said, overwhelming. There's so so much you could consider. Just being taken by the hand to know where to go is really useful, I think. Yeah, absolutely. Fantastic. All right. Well, final question for you then. Um, and this one's a bit more personal than professional, but I love to know what people are going to be getting up to. So what are you most looking forward to after COVID has started to settle down? Such a big question. And yes. <laughs> where, where, where do you start? So just a few little things that spring to mind. So lunchtime walks around the lake at work to discuss ideas, challenges, reconnecting with friends, family and colleagues. Uh, project launches, which we'd celebrate at our local in Indian restaurant. Awesome. And on the family side, so looking forward to doing that again. I've got a long list, but those are immediately come to mind. Awesome, awesome. Really quick, Ben. Sorry, I think it's frozen. I'm trying to. Don't worry, I can cut this out. I can video edit. I don't know if you can hear me okay. One second. There we go. Um, can you hear me okay? I can hear you now, yes. Okay, perfect. Would you mind, I'm have, I should have told you this before, I'm good at video editing, so I can cut and paste things as needed. Um, but would you mind starting from on a family, on a family note? Because um, that's kind of when it froze and I, could, I couldn't hear you, unfortunately. Okay, so I just repeat the whole of the Yeah, the sure. Do, um, yeah, if you'd like to start just from, yeah, from the start of the question. That. that might be easier for you. Yeah, yeah thank you. Okay, do you want to ask it or should I just... Uh, sure, yeah, I'll, I'll ask it again. <laughs> Sorry, it's so awkward when you have to redo it. Um, yeah, yeah. Okay, so perfect. So um, the question that I have for you here, um, what are you most looking forward to after COVID has settled down? I love thinking over that question because there's so many things you could do. But um, if I break it down, I'd say at, at work, I really enjoyed the lunchtime walks around the lake to discuss ideas and challenges. Um, I like being out in the countryside to connect with friends and family, colleagues. Project launches at our local Indian restaurant. But probably the biggest thing is getting back to international travel and being able to take our little boat out on the Swedish fjords. Oh, that would be fantastic. Big wish list. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Amazing. I feel like everyone's list is so large of all the things that they would love to tick off their list that they haven't been able to do. Um, but I love that you know, a lot of the things that you're looking forward to are connecting with people and getting and getting mm. back out and being able to share thoughts and ideas, um, you know, the walk around the lake and going out in the countryside. Um, I personally love stuff like that as well. So happy to hear you feel very same. <laughs> yeah. Actually, it's been a, a real blessing the last year with with lockdown because John this partnership's got a food and GM business and we don't tend to work that closely together. But when you work remotely all the barriers come down so it's a lot easier to work and get to know each other and share ideas oh that's fantastic so it's not all been bad so yeah. yeah and i think i think you know there, there has been a lot of bad but i'm sure you know i i don't want to say every person because i'm sure there's people that have gone through a lot of difficult times but there is a lot of good that we can hopefully contest to the fact that we've had to go virtual and you know learn how to be alone but be together mm. i guess you could say <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Actually, uh, last year I was doing, a, I actually had a, a stretch program for that. Like, I invited people to my video yeah. and we, because I was worried that a lot of people were working on their beds and very stiff. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. I love that. I have yeah. joined a few yoga classes virtually with a couple of mm. groups of friends. So that's been nice as well, because it's true. You know, you move from the bed to the couch or to the chair and then back to the couch and the bed and you yeah. don't really if, if you if you don't take the opportunity to get out and especially with the weather obviously you know a proper uk winter it's been very doom and gloom 
Mm, yes. <laughs> um, you know, it's been, it's been quite hard to get out, but uh, amazing. Well, thank you so much for your time, Ben. I really appreciate you coming on and telling us all a little bit about how you're feeling and how you're looking forward to the conference. Um, and I really hope that we'll be able to have lots of people attend your talk and take away everything that we've talked about and just, you know, get experimenting. That would be fantastic. That'd be brilliant. Lovely yeah. to speak to you. Yes, you too, Ben. Thanks so much. Bye.